Hi, welcome to Hope Alive with Mary. How are you guys doing? How's everyone doing? I'm just hoping and trusting that you're keeping your hope strong and alive. Yeah, I've got another interesting topic for us today. So I'm just going to get right into it without wasting time. But before I do that, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. What are you waiting for? Press the subscription button and the notification button. That way you get to know when we have a new video out. And um, please don't forget to like it, share it, leave me a comment, share it to people. Let others also be blessed by this comment. We all need a word of hope and encouragement at this time. So the title of what I'll be talking about today is Suffer Well. Suffer Well. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Suffer Well. And this is from the scriptures, you know, James chapter 1 from verse 2 to 4. James 1 verse 2 to 4. First and foremost, before I read it in this translation, I want to read, let me read it in uh, the new uh, King James or the King James, whichever one. Okay, let me do King James. He said, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. He said, knowing this, that the try of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have it. They are full perfect work that you may perfect. You may be perfect and in, an entire wanting nothing. So let's look at another translation. New King James will be very similar. It said, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Um, so let's look at message. I, like, I love it in message. Message says, from verse 2, consider it sheer joy, or no, sheer gift, friends, when test and challenges come at you from all sides. You know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true color. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it work its work so you become mature and well developed, not deficient in any way. I love that translation. I love it so much. I say so far away. Why do I say so far away? The Bible says this suffering, the suffering of this age is nothing compared to the glory that is come, that is to come. Um, the Bible also tells us about Jesus Christ. The Bible says, for the joy that was set ahead of him, he endured the cross. He suffered well. Is there a way to suffer well? Yes. There are times you go through things and the way not to suffer well is when you are grumpy. When you go through it, being grumpy, complaining, you are anxious, full of anxiety, depression, and it's causing so much issues in your life. You are not suffering well. You are not suffering well. The Bible said, talks about Jesus Christ. He suffered very well in the sense that he never responded to people who spat at him, who you know, true stuff at him, who accused him, who did all manner of things. The Bible says he was like a lamb led to be shot to the, to the slaughter and that he shut his mouth. He did not say a thing. He kept quiet. He endured. He knew the purpose for what, you know, for, for the suffering. He understood the purpose of the suffering. So that gave him strength to endure it without kicking off, without putting up a fight, without, you know, cutting down <laughs> all the cuttables. And, you know, remember Peter pulled out the sword and sliced off the ears of one of the soldiers. Jesus said, no, 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 we are not called to do that. He suffered where he was patient. He was full of love even for people who were doing those things to him. Another good example was Joseph who suffered well. Joseph, well, all the things Joseph went through, if it was any of us, oh my goodness, we knew what we would have done. But Joseph never retaliated. Joseph never cursed. Never said, you know, the fire of God visit my brothers. May this happen to them. May that happen to them. He had an understanding. He suffered well. David was somebody else also who suffered well. He didn't carry out his aggression or, deep, or, or frustration on someone else. 
He suffered well. And all these people I mentioned were people who were quick to forgive. J Stephen in the Bible was somebody else. Again, there are several of such people. They were quick to forgive. They were quick to let go. They suffered well. They did not kick off. They did not call God names. They would not say, God, you have left me, you know, da, 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 and throwing all the pity party all around. But rather, they saw it as an opportunity, just like the Bible said, for growth. I don't know what you're going through right now. I don't know what you've been through. I don't know the experiences that you have had. Bible is saying to us, so far well. You will only get this reward. Look at what he said. He said, consider a sheer gift. How can suffering be gift? So more than the other translation I read, they call it, consider it joy. He said, oh, <laughs> pure joy, pure joy, not just joy, pure joy. Consider it joy, consider it a gift, friends, when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. And sometimes truly that's how it comes. Sometimes it comes from all sides. You know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true color. So whatever you're going through is putting you that pressure you are going through. The intention is for your faith life to come out with its true color. And what's your own color going to be? <laughs> I mean, there's a question that only you can answer. This pressure you are going through, what is going to come out at the other end? Is it going to make you better or bitter? Is it going to make you or mar you? So it's a, a question only you can answer. He said, so don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Sometimes we want out. We say, oh God, I can't take this anymore. You want the shortcut out. You want any whichever way out. He said, don't get out prematurely because there's a danger of getting out prematurely. Because when you do that, the purpose for which will not have been achieved. You have aborted and frustrated the purpose. And you can imagine the good example that will give you at this time is like a, a, a mother hen sitting over the eggs. She's uh, there's some pressure on uh, from the egg from her sitting on the egg. There's warmth, there's heat, and sometimes it might be uncomfortable for the eggs. But the egg has to be patient for that to happen. Otherwise, what do you think will happen? At the end of the day, that egg is hatched before its time, before the required heat and all that it needs to do, you know, to form it. If that does not happen, that egg, that chick will be hatched that won't live. It won't amount to anything. So you could see that it will partly, you know, formed and deformed and what have you, and it will not live. So it's good for nothing. It's neither thunder. It's not an egg that if you crack such eggs, it's not an egg that you could fry and eat. Neither is it a chick that will grow to be a chicken that you can eat. So it becomes a waste. It becomes a waste. It goes back to the point that God, the word God gave me many some years ago he said don't waste the pain it will become a waste every one of us must go through stuff but don't let it you will you will let it waste if you do not suffer well when you suffer well this is how suffering well is when you are patient through it when you allow it to do his purpose when you allow it to go through the cycle he said let it do his work so you become mature well developed remember the chick i just talked, spoke about allow it to be well developed not deficient in any way. Some of us have ended up broken, battered, destroyed from the test that we are going through. We have left, it has left us, you know, with no trust whatsoever. We don't trust people anymore. We don't love people anymore. Because of the experiences you have, you say, no, you know, before I was so liberal, I was so forgiving, I, I give, I sow, I love people, I share. But because of the experience you have gone through, you, you closed up. You closed up. That means you have wasted the pain. You closed up. You don't love again. You don't express yourself to people again. You don't trust anybody again. It, you ended up like a, a bitter person, resentful person, you know, vengeful, you know, angry. Then you have wasted the whole pain. The whole essence of why God allowed you to come and go through that thing is all wasted. But when you allow it to form a character in you, a better version of yourself, a more loving, a more compassionate, a more humane person, knowing that huh, with what I have gone through, you need to begin to show more compassion. You need to come out with a more compassionate person. But if that's not what has happened to you, if your pain has not produced anything but in you, good in you or in the people around you, they cannot see a better version of yourself, then I want to tell you categorically that you have wasted your pain. 
The whole thing has been wasted. And if you are not careful, you might, if God needs to, to actually develop that character and do that work in you, then you might have to be submitted to that class again. And that is why some of us go through a cycle of the same thing back and forth, just because we are not learning the lesson. I pray that is not you. So my word to you today is suffer well. Suffer well. Put your head up. Smile. Rejoice. Dance. Give God glory. Because your eyes, your eyes is at the end of the project, the end of the of the pain, knowing what will happen at the end, knowing what to stand to enjoy at the end of this pain. So just suffer well. Okay? God bless you. God be with you. Please do share this content. Share it, share it, share it, share it, share it, share it, share it. I'm here again, giving you reason to keep your hope going and alive. God bless you. I'll see you very soon again. Bye-bye.